This is Curly Girl 08. Um, I am doing a quick tutorial on how to plop your hair. Um, this is recommended for medium to long length hair, and my hair is by no means long. It's short to medium, I guess. I've chopped on it so much. But anyway, um, the first thing you want to do, well, this for me is like second, third day, so I'm just spraying it down just to make sure it is good and wet. And this is just water. I'd already put a little bit of um, not today in it to detangle it with the water earlier. And then I also am using just a little bit of curly meringue from Miss Jessie. And just pulling that through. And then last but not least, I'm using my Diva Curl that it free spray. I'm just spraying that all over so I can switch my curl. Okay. Get an old t-shirt and just finish my curls up. And trying to take some of the excess water out of it. You want to use a t-shirt instead of your traditional towel to help minimize breaking off your ends. Because the towel is so rough. I usually just take an old t shirt and use it. Okay. okay. Alright, so now all that's left to do is to plop my hair. The purpose of plopping is that you want to minimize the drying time so that you don't have to spend so much time with a blow dryer or diffuser or sitting under the dryer or whatever it is that you do. So you don't have to go outside with a wet head. A soaking wet head and wait on it to air dry. So, here we go. So you want to take a long sleeve t-shirt, lay it flat with the arms stretched out on the bed, sofa, whatever works best for you. You want to stand up or kneel down over the t-shirt and plop all your hair on the top of your head onto the shirt. And I'm just folding the shirt up. Folding the shirt up around my head and then taking the sleeves and wrapping that around to tie it on. Kind of like a turban. And there we go. It is now popped. So, I am going to go finish getting ready for work. Um, I guess it shouldn't take me more than about 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most. Go get finish getting dressed, do my makeup and all that good stuff. And I'll be back and take it down so you can see what it looks like. Bye. See you later. Hi guys, this is Curly Girl 08. I am back. Um, I just finished getting dressed for work. As you can see, I'm in my all black, so I am working today. Um, so I'm running out of time. <laughs> but um, I've done my makeup, my clothes, and everything. So it's been probably about 20, 30 minutes. So let's take this down and see what it looks like. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of pick through it with my fingers. Still a little damp, but overall,
Let's see what I'm looking at that way. I think it's okay. It's not as wet in the top, so that's a good thing. Pick this back down a little bit more. Then I have a big hole in the back of my head. Alright. That's it. Here we go. So, I'm pretty happy with the results. It um, takes a lot of the drawing time for me, so anything that saves me time makes me happy. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep scrunching it a little bit while I wait on it to finish drying. Um, pretty much probably just let it air dry the rest of the way. Because it's not really that wet. So, I guess that's all for now. So, happy popping. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Hi guys, just came back um, to let you see the end result. It's dry now and I'm getting ready to head out, but I wanted to let you see what it ended up looking like when it finished drying. No frizz, and my curls look pretty um, fresh. Not bad for their day hair, so um, hopefully you'll go home and try this for yourself. I'm really happy with the results, and this is definitely a new routine for me that I'm going to continue to do. Have a good day. See you later.